Floodgates of change are opening this May as the process to get new smart water meters installed across Abilene gets underway. KTAB's Mercedes Hernandez has more on how the devices are supposed to streamline the reading process. Mercedes has tonight's top story. Thank you, Bob and Stacy. The new meters are completely digital, allegedly more accurate, and have a few more tricks than their older counterparts, bringing water reading into the hands of customers. We're going from the old meters, as you see over here, to the new digital meters. It's a move that's coming soon, but not as soon as you might think. First meters, you're probably not going to see, you know, going in the ground until summer. That's because, although the project has already been approved for an $18 million grant. We're still waiting on the Texas Water Development Board for final, the notice to proceed. But once the meters are in, crystal clear transparency will be available to all consumers. The customers will be able to see the same thing that we see. So there's going to be a customer portal that they're going to get to see with this, the, the meters. They can check it daily if that's what they want to do, monthly. That's a refreshing idea to some residents. I think it's neat that you can keep such good track of what you're using of your water. Because you get a lot of bills and you don't know where it's going. Yeah, imagine they're going to save time and money um, for people having to go out there. And you'd imagine correctly. The devices are expected to cut down on the manpower used to monitor water consumption because all that data will be tracked digitally. You have six meter readers and again you got 42,000 meters. We don't have to send our meter readers out there. Uh, we don't have to go through the alleys or you know worry about you know high grass whatever the case may be. But don't worry robots aren't replacing the readers. They'll become techs. They'll only be going out for repairs. They'll be going out for again check and rereads things like that every once in a while. It will be about two years before all the meters will be placed in the key city but in the meantime you can still drink up, soap up, and flush because of the old meters there's nothing wrong with them. I mean they're good meters too. Now, Mr. Cox says once the Water Development Board gives its approval, the infrastructure, like the data collection towers, will be built first before you can find anyone putting in a new water meter. With coverage you can count on, Mercedes Hernandez, KTAB News. Back to you. All right, thank you, Mercedes. The meters are expected to save about 65 million gallons of water in Abilene a year. Wow, that's really a big number. That is. I hope that works out. Yes.